Episode 4 of the Nottingham Forest career mode for you guys here today on EAFC. And we kick off today against Brentford, who are a side which in real life um, looked a little bit dodgy, but I think they've done alright so far. Um, this team, they're looking to go over Neil Morpé and one of the new signings starting up top. Uh, Wiesa and Wemo, we all know, are going to be threats out in the wide. Um, this team is going to decide to go for our first game of today. I've put more in a couple of new changes to the side. Hudson Adoy, Dennis, uh, Dominguez. Um, yeah, they all come in uh, to. I, I think they replaced Danilo Alanga and Nuno Tavares. Let's get in this game versus Brentford. Fingers crossed, hopefully, we can pick up a win here versus a very good team. You know, like I said, you know, I, I feel like I say it's the start of every game, but we all know Brentford definitely got players which are definitely. Definitely can cause problems. Anyway, four goals last game for Wiesa. Let's see how we can do. Two into Neil Morpay. Chance made for Brentford. Got to try and close us down. Okay, they got the ball on the edge of the box. Rico Henry. Really nice play from Rico Henry. Felipe versus him. Oh, he beats him. Shot near post. And a good save there from the goalkeeper. Rico Henry crane all that right there. That was a really good chance. They got themselves a corner here. Uh... Brentford. I don't know what they're going to do. They're going to take it short. They're going to whip the ball in. They decide to take it short. We, oui, sir. And Buemo inside. Chance here for Brentford. And another great save from the goalkeeper. Another corner here to uh, Brentford. Jensen. Whip the ball in. to the near post. Headed away there from Utsula Doy. Still falls here to Wiesa. Back out wide. Chance here, maybe. Okay, they've got the ball here nicely. Brentford. We sir uh, trying to close him down. Okay, we forced them back. Oh, nice football here so far. Oh, that was a lovely touch, but Warrell with the challenge. Okay, we might have our first chance of the game here. From the Niguez. Near Carte. All out wide. Chance here now. Hudson Adoy going to go for the ball in. Dennis! Oh! It was an acrobatic effort. And Flecken with the save. Our first chance of the game. Oh, no chance here for Brentford. We, sir. Going to try and tee them all up on the left side. Late chance here in the game. Oh, they've somehow still got it. Chance here made for Brentford. Trying to force them down. Embuemo. Embuemo. Good save. And we get rid of it. Honestly, I don't know how Brentford aren't winning this game. They have been all over us. We've been absolutely horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. I, I can't say any more than that. Absolutely horrendous. We're going to make some changes because Surin's got to change because we've been so bad. Uh, Nuno's going to come on to play a doy. Um, Alanga's going to come on to play Dennis. And I'm also going to bring on uh, Mangala to replace uh, Dominguez. Honestly, absolutely horrendous from us in this game so far. He's going to play the ball on the inside of Gibbs White. Chance he made for Nottingham Forest. Gibbs White draws the ball in. Shot again. Malanga blocks the way through. Falls to Nuno who tries to shot again. And block from Brentford. That was much better from us, but... Still yet to get that elusive uh, proper chance. Oh, no chance here for Brentford. Good save in the keeper. And Black Medios has been so good in this game. Go, Gibbs White. Infield, Anthony Alanga. Alanga does well. Alanga goes for it. Try to beat Fleckaday's near post. And yeah. Here Brentford. We sir. Oh, no. We sir. We sir. They play it across. Chance made for Brentford. And they take the lead. In the final 10 minutes, Neil Mope, are we going to suffer our first defeat at home so far in the league? Mope. Oh, so frustrating, man, but they do deserve it. They do deserve it. They do deserve it. Full time, 1 0 Brentford. Not the most uh, entertaining of football games, but Brentford came here and done what they've done, and they deserve it. 1-0 Brentford's full-time. 
Okay, so I read a comment, and uh, the comment has told us to scout players in Brazil. Okay, so we're going to go to Brazil, and then also he said Ivory Coast. So we're going to go to uh, Ivory Coast, try and pick up an Ivorian. Uh, three months. Okay, so yeah, hopefully we can get some better youth players back. We've got the next episode, uh, not the next episode, the next game of the episode against Crystal Palace. And um, yeah, I've decided to make a few changes. This is the Chris Palace potential lineup, probably won't be. Because uh, I've noticed that he can be a little bit different. Uh, so we made a few changes. Chris Wood comes in. Uh, Danilo comes back in. Tavares comes in. Willy Bolly comes in. So four changes. Um, yeah, I, I don't know whether we'll stick with this formation 100% here with Nottingham Forest. I am debating whether to change it up potentially. To be with loads of other players that I'd love to get some more game time to. But we can take on Crystal Palace here. It's going to be a difficult game. I'm still upset by the Brentford game. We're getting close to keeping our second collegiate of the season, obviously. And, yeah, we, we don't, we're not great travellers at the moment in the league, you know, so far. Uh, you know, only picking up, uh, you know, one win. Uh, away from home so far this season, however it was against Arsenal. Let's see how we do against Crystal Palace. Come on, Forest. Chan to Crystal Palace early on. They're coming up field, ball on the inside. Edward with the strike, saving the goalkeeper, and yeah, Palace already uh, providing a bit of a threat. Oh, great press there from Forest. Here we go, Chris Wood, edge of the box. Wood's going to go for the shot across goal, and it's a really good save right there from Remy Matthews. I'm surprised why he's starting in there. I don't understand why he would start in there, but I mean, I'm not complaining. He's got ourselves a corner, gives White. Ball whipped in, Chris Wood, ball falls here. Shot taken, blocks on the way through. Uh, okay, it's going to be a throw in here. From the ball down, Taywo. Gibbs White makes a run on the right side. Might go for the ball in. Ah, easy there for the keeper. Can't see maybe for us. Oh, across here. Gibbs White with the strike. And that is probably the best chance we've had so far in the episode. Gibbs White should be doing better. Or should be uh, should be 1 0, sorry. Oh, no, we missed the challenge here. Nia Carte. Oh, that was a bad foul there for Nia Carte. Had to be a freak again to Palace. Half an hour gone. The referee gives a yellow card there for Noose, uh, Musa Niakate. Here we go. Freak again to Palace. Ball whipped in. One there from Woods. We can't clear it that far, though. Great chance here made for us. Nuno. What a run this is from Nuno. What a run. Come on, Nuno. What you got for us? Oh, damn it. Till now. Songre. Gibbs White. Nilo. Songre. Montiel. Playing the ball around here. Danilo. Tewo. That's a free kick, apparently. I thought that was quite a good challenge. Okay. Free kick against Palace late on. Free kick against Palace late on on the right side. It's going to be Edward. It's going to be over this one. Oh, whipped in there from Edward. Anderson, I saw him uh, getting plenty of space in the middle, but good goalkeeper did the end. And that is it. Half time and 0 0. Okay, chance here now. They're coming forward. Tyreek Mitchell. Chance here Palace inside of Edward. Edward! Wow. What a finish there from Odds and Edward. And Palace take the lead here. At Selhurst Park, 1-0 Crystal Palace. Edward with a goal. That was a fantastic finish right there in the top right corner. Wow. Great finish. I'm not even complaining about that. That is a really good goal. What a finish there, Edward. 1-0 Palace. It means to respond. Well, it was a dangerous cross, but I just get rid of it. Danilo knocking it down. Edge of the box. Gibbs White. Go try to turn and shoot. Gibbs White with the strike. And... So close to Morgan Gibbs White. Substitution here for Palace. IU's came off and Elise's on, even though it's a bit glitched there from the thing, even though it doesn't annoy me that much. But it basically was saying the red usually means the player coming off and the green means the player coming on. But it was the opposite way around for that one. A little bit of a bug there, you know. Nothing obviously huge, you know, but, you know, it'd be nice to 
you know, know who was actually coming on and coming off. We've got Luton Town after this. In the Premier League. More chance here, Elise infield. Eze! Save from the keeper. Oh no, chance here, Palace. Is Edward on side? Didn't think he was. And that is great for him there from Bolly. We're going to make ourselves some changes with half an hour left. As we have not looked good. Yates can cause place Danilo. Um, Alanga can come on to replace Chris Woods. And Hudson Adoy is going to come on as well to replace Nuno. A bit more attacking threat there. Okay, triple change for us. Hopefully that can impact in the better. There's a Elise Montiel. Oh, it's a penalty to Palace. Montiel goes in. I'm going to swig at my brew. And it's a penalty to Crystal Palace. Soft. Here we go. Right. There's a. There's a. It's safe from the goalkeeper. Great save there from Vlakimidios. As quickly counts like Anthony Alanga. What a run in from Alanga. The substitute. Anthony Alanga cuts it back. Hudson Adoy. Oh, shots blocked. It still falls to him. Hey, he goes down. That's a free kick on the edge of the box here to Forrest. Grab him to the Adoy. Up one end. And now we've got a free kick on the edge of the Palace box. I don't know how free kicks are this year. You know what? I might maybe for somebody. Actually, you know, I'm going to play it short. Alanga turns and shot. Block. Rebound. Shot taken again. Blocks in the way through. Oh, okay. Maybe I should have just taken the free kick. Chance here for us. Alanga into Gibbs White. Taywo. He's in. Taywo. Taywo for Forrest. Taywo has leveled it. It's 1-1. In the 71st minute, Tabor, we're going to try and quickly run over to the away fans. And it is 1-1 Crystal Palace and Nottingham Forest. Come on. What an impact Subby has been. Anthony Alanga has got it. Alanga, great effort. Great save from Matthews. We are applying all the pressure here. Gibbs White, corner, ball in. Tabo with the header. 2-1 Forest from the corner. Taewo, but then again, Alanga pretty much creates the goal. Taewo celebrates the Forest fans. Come on. 2-1 Forest. Another corner again in Nottingham Forest. Gibbs White. Ball in. Taewo maybe again, and he's done it. Hat-trick hero. Taewo. 3-1 Forest. It's a hat-trick for Taewo, who has been absolutely phenomenal for us in this series so far. 3-1 for us, and that is surely three points in London. Right. We like playing in London. Arsenal, handed to them. Crystal Palace, handed to them now. Let's go. Taewo from the set-piece. 3-1. And that is full-time. 3-1 for us. What a win. Wow, after losses against Brentford and Man City, I was a little bit concerned, you know, like I said, despite Man City, obviously Brentford are a good side as well, but I was concerned in case maybe we could potentially start slipping down a little bit, And but we've done absolutely amazing again. I'm loving this series so far, but yeah, 3-1, let's go. The final game of the episode, we're going to be taking on Luton Town, and um, yeah, obviously one of the uh, favourites to go down, but I'm not going to underestimate anybody, you know, because... On the your game, we had an email about Divock Origi having more appearances. I want to know your thoughts in the comments because obviously I'm, I'm recording these in a little bit of bulk at the moment because I probably won't be able to record these again for like another few days. Um, so, um, yeah, Divock Origi, let me know your thoughts on him, whether you guys think I should really prioritise playing him or not. Uh, AC Milan messaged me saying they're unhappy with appearances, so I've decided to get him a start here and see how he does. Uh, not really made Chabron Hudson the door in for the team because... I thought, I really like Nuno, but I thought Hudson Odoi when he came on was absolutely phenomenal. So, yeah, let's get in this game here versus Luton Town. After a fantastic win, you know, uh, you know, we get to Crystal Palace away. We're taking on Luton at home, which you would look at at this game as three points, you know, but football don't work like that.
Oh, no chance here, maybe. For Luton Town. They're laying it off. Shot taken straight. The goalkeeper rebound. 1-0 Luton. Jacob Brown with the goal. 1-0 Luton Town. I don't want to happened to his hair. <laughs> you know, but it is 1-0 Luton. Jacob Brown. Giles. Running on the inside. Woodrow. Challenge from Danilo. Taiwo trying to find the run. Montiel now chanting maybe for Forrest. Ball whipped in. Origi punch from the goalkeeper. Chanting for Lu. Oh no, Lewin. Plenty of space in the far stick. They play the ball on the inside. Shot taken straight at the goalkeeper. Zero Lewin. Knocking the ball around here. Near the corner flag. Try and get the ball in. Referee play the advantage and. It's going to be a free kick for Luton. Here we go. Ball turning from Giles. Headed away in the middle there from Gibbs White. My match launch counts. Stack Divock Origi. Origi now here for maybe uh, Nottingham Forest. Divock Origi. Kabore as well. Half time, 1 0 Luton. Yeah, we're getting straight into half time now. And uh, I ain't even going to waste any time. Substitutions. Yates. Alanga, get them on. Second half, let's go. It's a joy ball in. That's a great ball, Tavo with the header. It's going towards goal. It's punched there from the keeper, and it's an oh. Oh, okay, that was something there from Tavo. Luke makes does a change. Ryan Giles is coming off, and Sammy Lakonga is coming on. That's interesting. Chance here, Hudson Adoy. Adoy. Great run here, Hudson Adoy. Drills the wall, low cross, face of goal. This time we score, Alanga. 1 1. Anthony Alanga for Nottingham Forest. Let's go. Sees Gibbs White. Gibbs White. Great run here from Gibbs White. Chance here for Luton Town. The Panzu challenge from Neocarte. Shot blocked again. Wow. That came from nowhere. Almost has a corner here. Come on, lads. We can defend this one. Oh, it's in. Headed away. Falls off the edge of the box. Mengi. Ted and Mengi. Straight in the throat of the keeper. Oh, Chad here. We're in. Chris Wood. Chris Wood. Come on, Chris Wood. You haven't started too much. Chris Wood. 2-1 Nottingham Forest versus Luton. Come on, Chris Wood. 2-1. Oh, no. Great save from Lacrimadios. Late on here. Luton Town applying the pressure. Corner kick. Here we go. Ball we whipped in. Come on, keeps. Easy. In a half. Second minute. Come on. Two and a half minutes. We played the three. Come on, ref. Intercepted. Clear it away. And that's it. Let's go. Okay, so here we go, people. That is it for the episode. We currently see eighth in the league. Five wins, four Lost 16, 18 goals. Fenfi is still in a problem, but we've not been awful. You know, like I said, I, I could have done a lot worse. Uh, but how we're going to do something a little bit different, actually. We're going to go and look at the stats and statistics of our players. So, uh, in terms of our top goals, cover is Taywo, six goals uh, in nine appearances. Chris Wood, five goals in six. Pretty good. Langer, three. Top assist to Gibbs White, nine assists. Been absolutely phenomenal for us. But yeah, everybody, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of the Nottingham Forest crew mode. If you guys have, please do make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Take care, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. See you all soon.